Hello, hello, this is Casey, and I. this is just a little quick intro to a quick herb walk that I just did last week, and in that walk I found miner's lettuce, also known as winter purslane, a delicious wild edible, excellent for clearing out lymphatic congestion. As well, I found cleavers right next to the uh, miner's lettuce and cleavers is used to also clear out lymphatic congestion. Both of those plants are excellent spring tonics. So I would like to do a little series on some of the plants that are coming out this spring. So for me, I am in Northern California. There is a lot coming out and I'm interested to see what is coming out in other parts of the country. So please, I love to hear feedback, especially if anyone is finding miner's lettuce or winter purslane. Um, generally speaking, that grows more in coastal regions. It is native to the Pacific Northwest. So, but it has been spread to other parts of the world and as well as Europe especially and does grow well in a variety of coastal regions. So. Let me know if you have any of the miner's lettuce. I've just recently discovered it and I, I can't even tell you. I'm just, I love it so much. I'm eating it by the handful. <laughs> so um, it is super similar to chickweed in terms of its cooling and cleansing properties. And so with this series that I'm, I'm doing, I'm focusing on the spring herbs. So in this walk in particular that you're about to see, I cover the miner's lettuce and cleavers. And I'm also going to be covering plants like dandelion, nettles, um, alfalfa is starting to come up. In all of these plants, so wherever you are, whatever is in your environment, if it is spring for you, you will be finding that the plants that are coming up are geared towards cleansing. So they're going to be working on the lymphatic system, clearing out congestion in the lymphatic system. They are going to be revitalizing the liver and gallbladder, and they are going to be working on helping the kidneys to regain some vitality as well as the rest of the body. So whatever's growing in the spring is for you to be consuming in the spring. And it is primarily the, the most, uh, the properties of the plants growing in the spring have the most detoxification properties of, generally speaking, of the rest of the plants that you're gonna be finding coming up throughout the summer and the fall. And that is because the spring is when our bodies are meant to detoxify. So, hope you enjoy and see you soon. Okay. Hi there, this is Casey. I am in Ashland, Oregon. I'm in Lithia Park. And I'm checking out this little mini patch of incredible redwoods and sequoias. And there are so many things coming out. It is April 12th. It's actually Easter today. And so I'm going to continue on with my spring herb walks. And I would like to talk about miner's lettuce today. And miner's lettuce was used by, as the name implies, the California miners. They used it to prevent scurvy. It contains a ton of vitamin C, a lot of uh, minerals, vitamins and minerals in general, including iron. And quite likely it was taught to the miners by the Native Americans as they used it as well. And it is the most delicious wild edible in terms of salad that I have ever tasted. I wouldn't mind having a whole entire plate full, and I have on several occasions, of miner's lettuce alone. So let's take a look at this little patch 
that I found that has miner's lettuce as well as cleavers. And so in nature, a lot of times you will find yourself living close to the plants that are the most beneficial for your system. And as well, you will find plants growing close to each other that you may be intended to be using as medicine or food together. So I thought it was really interesting to see this little patch here of cleavers and miner's lettuce. So here we have some miner's lettuce. And you can see it comes up from a single stem and it has like this little, well, it hasn't flowered yet, but there will be a little, let's see if I can find one. Here's another one. There will be a little white flower coming out of the center of the leaf. And the leaf itself is quite succulent. It's not bitter at all. It's almost sweet. It is incredible as a salad green. I know it's used in in uh, gourmet wild edibles quite often so and yeah it's a great thing it's coming up in the spring it's a wonderful thing to be eating in the spring to help clear any stagnation from the body that may have accumulated throughout the winter here's another one and it will grow uh, it grows in abundance and this will become a lot larger if I don't pick it and eat it <laughs> and it remains sweet and non-bitter pretty much throughout its its life so okay so here we have growing right in front of it some cleavers and cleavers is an incredible lymphatic herb it's used in a lot of different lymphatic formulas. It's also good at clearing out stagnant energies in the kidneys and bladder. So cleavers, um, it doesn't have a, a terrible taste, but it's, it's sort of sticky like Velcro. So you can see, see a little patch right here that it, it kind of wants to stick on in my hand. It also wants to stick close to the plants growing around it. And it will, after it flowers, produce a bit of a little, a burr, like a sticky burr, really similar to burdock. So you want to watch out for those. They'll get caught on your clothes and in your socks and all that. Not very fun. Um, but yeah, cleavers was used also by the Native Americans for, again, clearing out stagnation that may have occurred due to a heavier diet throughout the winter. So... I, d I wouldn't necessarily eat it in a salad just because of its texture, but you can juice it. I highly recommend you juice it. Um, you can juice it in a traditional juicer, or my favorite really is to put the greens in the blender with an apple and then strain them, or by themselves, with a little bit of water. Okay, so there's some more miner's lettuce. And yeah, so that is cleavers and miner's lettuce and I will post some more information on how to harvest and utilize these two incredible plants. All right, happy Easter. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.